Happy Christmas Eve to all. What a good one we have in store as we are underway here in week 16. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. all game long. I mean, they were running the routes with them. Turned out, they were right there on every... Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Richardson off the play fake. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They started this drive backed up against the wall by the turnover, but I love their fight. Planted their feet and forced the incompletion on first down. Second and 10. Ready. Second down, here's Richardson. And he'll go underneath here to Evans. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Those defense for the Packers, they played extremely well last week in that win over Green Bay. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, right there, right make sure there, you hurt. see your guys open before you deliver? On third down, here's Evans. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Nine yards that time. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Richardson to throw off play action. Being chased out left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Second and ten. Play action. Now Richardson. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. Rashawn Gary in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Second Pirates! Second Pirates! Third and long for Richardson. The pass caught by Alave. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. A 29-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Uh, 
About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending. Certainly did. And I remember going back to my notes before this game, and a lot of times when I scout a guy, I have a little section about how does he handle adversity. And in this case, a big check mark. He may have thrown the first interception, but I don't think he's going to throw very many more. Here's Herbert. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Quinnen Williams so hard to block, and he shows it that time, making the tackle for loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Another run with Sanders. And again, the run defense down this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. They need 12 here. It's third down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk, and that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On now is the Packers punter, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And the stakes in this game certainly high as we get toward the end of the regular season. For now, they are holding a wild card spot, but there are no shortage of other teams in the NFC looking to take that spot from them. Starting with the guys on the other side of the field because they're on the outside looking in, and no one likes to be in that position. You want to be in the room, not looking inside to see everyone else having fun. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. On second down, Evans looking for space. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Straight ahead, it's Evans. And he stopped immediately there. The tackle by N'Kobe Dean. The Panthers had eight and six now on the year. Okay, they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football partner comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. A solid stiff arm. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 18. 23 yards on the play. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. 
So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And Richardson looks to throw once more. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the Panthers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Hey, check that, check that. Street, street. Evans. We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Carolina. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here, and they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and the lead grows to 10 0. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just get back to score. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Play action. It's Herbert. The Panther rush too strong. They get down and take him down. Micah Parsons able to get him down for a loss of 11, and it brings up fourth down. On now is the Packers punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 30. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And this late season game, of course, not lacking for drama when you talk about the AFC playoff picture. Yeah, in a sense, it's the haves versus the have-nots because this group of offense, they'd be a wild card if the postseason started today, but they know the guys on the other side of the ball are still in that dreaded in-the-hunt category, and they're hungry for a win today. Second down and six now. Check mash, check mash. They'll go again here with Evans. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Ready. They'll try and run for it with Evans. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Off play action, Richardson. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Here's second and 10. Here's Richardson to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. 
feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. 19 tight, 19 tight. On third down, here's Richardson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. There he goes, right side. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. So what a play there in the final minute of this first half. They get the interception. More importantly, their first points of the ball game. Yeah, and that one play certainly changes the outlook, doesn't it? I mean, they're looking at going into the locker room. No points on the board. Not playing well defensively. Deflated. And now, things may have changed for them. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin at the 25. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Richardson looking to throw. Now a short one to Gesicki. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Here we go, here we go. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to the air with Richardson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Flowers. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Right there, right there, hurt. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Hey, smash Bronco! Ready. And they'll run for it with Evans. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is cool. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. Ready. 
And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They go play action with Richardson. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one goes for 30 yards. Come on, come on. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Alave holds it in. And taking it across midfield. And just shy of the football. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Richardson going to move him around. Go check. Go check. They'll run on first down with Evans. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. They'll stay on the ground, Evans again. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Rashawn Gary picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. Butker's kick here is good, and now it's a two-score game at nine, 16 to seven. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. And all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is, you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side said, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Sanders nails it over the middle. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. 
They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. Oh, a dangerous pass there, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kevin Farley. And what a return as he brings us with all the way back to the 25 yard line. been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. Again, it'll be Evans. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. touchdown on the year and the Panthers are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead so the second down run didn't work they run it again on third down and get in I wasn't sure if they might pass it Charles we know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line yeah almost felt like the offensive line said forget mixing it up let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers and let's get this one in and he got it on the touchdown run but he won't get in here he'll be stopped short and they'll come up empty on the try for two now after the touchdown here's butker on to kick it away and this will be returned from deep in the end zone and he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best of the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Quinnen Williams busting through to get him for a loss of six. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. 
Yeah, offenses are always trying to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only get to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. All right, they're going to try and keep Hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They snap it to Herbert. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Derek Stigley picks it. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense okay, has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side right, eyes right. along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. Scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Panthers are closing in on a ninth victory on the year as they extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Set. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. And a penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Set. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game, and all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time in a Greedy Williams picks it off. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games where you just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. 70 Rangers, 70 Rangers. First and 10, here's Richardson with it. Chris Olave, touchdown! Chris Olave, his second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Butker on for the PAT. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year. And our score will stay right where it is. 
Harrison Butler is set to kick off. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. It's a second down run with Sanders. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And yeah, this will be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Sanders and nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Panthers, it's a critical win for them as it gets them to 9-6 and six on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Packers, their playoff hopes take a big hit as they fall to 8-7. and seven. And they'll be off to Minneapolis next week for a look at new U.S. Bank Stadium and a date with the Vikings. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.